Welcome back to Coach Nate Hartman on YouTube. I got something for you guys that I think you're going to like today. It's a Clay Thompson film study. We're going to focus on the six areas where Clay Thompson is the most effective on the offensive end. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Also check out CoachNateHartman.com for additional player development breakdowns as well as offensive film studies. So let's jump in in the first area, which is off screens. Anytime you play with shooters, obviously they're going to be very difficult to guard off screens. Having two of them on the floor allows them to be screeners as well, which makes it even more difficult. Here's Clay over top on a flare screen. Notice they have two on the basketball. They're worried about Stephen Curry on the drive. Looney setting the flare. Steph throws a great pass. Clay's wide open, dominates his approach, begins to sit down. There's a little stunt and recover here from the defender, but you know, pick your poison between Clay Thompson, Jordan Poole. Here he comes <clears throat> in transition. He's talking to Draymond, telling him, hey, come give me a screen, come give me a screen. Look, his hands are up. Draymond comes in and sets the pin. Clay again, just so quick to get his feet set, so quick to get his shot off. Makes him extremely effective. Here he's going to set a screen. Shooters, a great way for you guys to get open is to be a great screener. I tell, those, tell the shooters that I coach all the time, you have to set great screens to get open. Here there's a switch. Cameron Payne's on top of him. Now he's in a lock and chase. Again, this is what you have to do when you're defending a shooter. The lock and chase campaign's holding his hip. He's going to stay attached to him. He ends up getting under because there's a great screen from Looney. Anytime the defender is under a screen, it immediately triggers a, a re-screen. So the big's going to flip his feet and set another screen. Extremely difficult for the defender to go under a screen twice. If he does, it's a shot read anyway. Here he's going to get over the top. Looney gets a piece of him. Biombo's in a drop. Again, Clay just so, so quick to be able to get his shot off. Um, you know, he's on balance. Knocks it down. Here comes the dribble handoff. The Warriors are great at this. Draymond's great at this. He's going to dribble at Clay, sets his defender up a little bit, gets him leaning one way. The other thing Clay Thompson does really well that you need to pay attention to, really that anybody can do, you don't have to be fast to be able to do this, but you have to consistently and constantly change speeds. Fast to slow, high to low, start one way, go the other way. Great contact on the screen here. Clay has enough room to take a dribble, get into a shot. Again, just straight up and down, just dominating his approach. He's on balance. His base is strong. Here we have a little out of bounds action. Clay is going to come off the screen. Again, you really can't go under the screens on him, so they're always over the top. But he's just so efficient at getting his shot off. Here on a little post entry creates the split. Jordan Poole enters. He's going to come screen for Clay. Clay now has a read. He can dive to the hoop or he can come over the top to receive the pass. It's all based on what his defender does. So his defender is between him and the hoop, which means the dive cut, the reject, the, the cut to the hoop is not open. So he makes contact with his defender. He's slow enough to get to make contact, to see where his defender is, then he makes the read, then he's out for the three, knockdown. Here you can see, so again, we're going to have a post entry. Steph Curry's already setting up in the split with Clay. Clay's walking his defender down. They're going to get into a double split here. Clay could dive to the hoop. Some call this a Bilboa action made popular in Europe. He could dive straight to the hoop, and Steph could come over the top off the loony screen. But Clay makes the read. 
here to come over the top. Again, his defender is between him and the hoop, so it's not really open on the dive. He sprints to receive the pass and gets the open shot. Just, again, sprints out. It's pretty simple, looks pretty simple, but sprints out to three, hits a shot. Always on the move. Richard Hamilton was great at this. Reggie Miller was great at this. Ray Allen was great at this. Clay and Steph are great at this. They're always, always moving. You got to be in great condition. Always coming off screens. They just need a little bit of space to get their shot off. Let's take a look at the next component, which is off the dribble. A little more difficult to make shots off the dribble. There's an attack to the rim, uses his left hand, a high quality finish, high off the glass. Here again, he's a screener. He's setting the screen on, on Biombo. That creates a switch, which is a mismatch. Clay knows that, sets him up. Biombo's gonna back off a little bit as a big, trying to make he's he's gonna try to force him into a tough contested three rather than get beat to the rim. Over the top on the handoff, defender trails, DeAndre Ayton's in the drop coverage, which puts two on Clay, gets to a spot, pump fake, gets Ayton up in the air, just needs that little advantage of the Ayton jump to, to get his shot off. Off the screen from Miguadala, bounce, bounce, that's just a tough shot. Two bounces, pulls up, here he's off the, the pin down. Notice how he gets away from his defender. Defenders are typically always going to trail him. He knows that. He catches whether he's got the quick shot release or whether he needs to put it on the ground a little bit to attack. Gets to a spot. Step back. Spin. If you have a shooter or if you are a shooter, you have to study how to come off screens and learn how to make reads. Again, puts it on the ground. He's got great footwork, and we'll see it more in the post-up clip. He's got great feet. Here, there's a hammer set, the strong drive from Draymond. Draymond knows he's throwing the ball to the corner. You can see the hammer screen being set for him on the weak side. Clay catches, puts it on the deck. Step back. Tough shot. Again, pretty simple. Draws a foul off the screen, lock and chase to the hoop, draws contact, gets it up high off the glass for the score. Off the bounce, all the way to the rim. Now, people are going to run him off the three-point line, being such a great shooter, so he's got to be able to get to the hoop and finish shots. Don't have to be extremely athletic. Clay is very athletic, but after his injuries, he's... You know, not quite as athletic as he was or uh, as bouncy as he was. Here we're going to take a look at him in the post. One of my favorite things uh, is, a, is a big shooting guard that can post. Think Kobe Bryant, Paul Pierce, uh, Clay Thompson, Dwayne Wade played down here. Just great feet. Usually takes two dribbles to the left and spins back to his right. Here we take a look at some of his scores in transition. Again, as a shooter, run the floor. Go get a couple easy layups. If you're having a night where you're struggling, go get a couple easy layups. Here he comes. I mean, this is, and you can practice this. We work this with our guys. We have them go touch half court. We have them sprint into the shot. They dominate. They dig their feet into the ground. Look at him just dig his feet into the floor to slow down. He's not falling forward on this. He catches, maintains his balance. Straight up, straight down, drops his hands, it's in. Little mid-range jumper. Again, shooters run the floor, get some easy buckets. Great pass from Steph.
Now, this, where, this may be where Clay is the most deadly. Spotting up. Just as a spot up shooter. Especially playing with someone like Stephen Curry. It's a great left handed pass. Clay spots up. He stays deep. He stays wide. He, maintain, he maintains spacing on the floor. And he hits open shots. There's a little flare from Gary Payton. Draymond dribbles at Clay, hits him, throws him a strike, as we call it, hits him right in the shooting pocket. Notice Clay's release. Not only is it quick, but it's pretty high. He doesn't really dip the ball much. Now that's uh, you know another conversation that can be had. There's nothing wrong with the dip. Um, it's typically used to generate power. Clay is unique in the sense that he keeps the ball pretty high. There he dipped a little bit. Here he kicks out, relocates to the three. Uh, extremely difficult shot falling out of bounds. That's why he's one of the best in the NBA. Great playing off two feet. Misses the shot, but again, relocates to the three. Here's his high release. Shot. Knocked down. Shooters. Got to play out of the corners. Sometimes standing in the corner is... The perfect way to space the floor. Typically it is. We feel like we always need to move in basketball. I coached at the high school level. I'm at the college level now. But, you know, you hear people in the stands yelling, move, move, move. Uh, no. Sometimes just go stand there in the corner and be ready to hit a shot. Clay's, uh, Keegan Murray has turned his head to Clay. Clay slides down a little bit to get the passing angle and gets an open shot. Here, just again, running the floor. He's not going real quick, but he's under control. He maintains his balance, and he finishes shots. Offensive rebounds. How many have we seen now? Three or four clips off an offensive rebound. Clay gets behind the line. Defense is scrambling, typically leaving him wide open. These are things that all players can do. If you can be a knockdown shooter, look, run the floor in transition, be ready for be ready to spot up and knock down a shot. Be ready to run off screens. Be well conditioned enough to run off screens, to change speeds, to catch, to shoot. Work on your release. Also, shooters, you have to be able to cut. Again, you're going to get ran off the line. You're going to get overplayed. If you can be a good cutter, you will get a couple easy baskets. Here we have him in the corner. Thinks there's going to be a dribble handoff. So Caldwell Pope jumps on the top side. Look, there's a little anticipation. Caldwell Pope, he is leaning towards Draymond, anticipating that there's a handoff coming. Clay sees that, sets him up, plants hard with his left foot, goes back door for an easy bucket. Here you got two shooters. Kind of sets a ghost screen a little bit. Kind of was going to be a looked like it was going to be a down screen. Could call it kind of a split action, of kind of a five out Princeton type deal. He comes down, does not make contact. There's miscommunication between Murray and Porter. Obviously, they're worried about Steph Curry, uh, the best shooter in NBA history. Uh, Clay recognizes that, slips to the hoop, and gets another easy layup. That ends up being a block shot, but again, we've talked offensive rebounds. He relocates to the corner, gets a three. Here we have him sprinting the floor. How many times have we seen him sprint the wing? He can either uh, step in and shoot that three, or here he goes all the way to the rim for the finish. Guys, appreciate you jumping in. Clay Thompson film study, one of the best shooters in the NBA, but he does it from multiple uh, angles and multiple areas of the floor, whether it's off of screens, he can shoot it off the dribble, he can play in the post, uh, he can run the floor in transition, uh, he's dead accurate from a spot up, and he cuts really, really well. Make sure to leave a comment, let me know what you think, let's interact a little bit on some of this stuff, ask me any questions. There are drills, there are skills, there are things you can do to become better uh, off of screens, there are things you can do to be a better shooter off the dribble. There's footwork stuff that you can use in the post as you spot up. Uh, there's reads that you need to be able to make, uh, you know, when and where and how to cut to the hoop. So make sure to leave a comment and let's have a conversation. Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.